Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites and we are reading from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast, written by Aid Abdullah Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 127. Lesson 27. Ramadan is a blessed month for the Islamic call. The propagation of Islam was the mission of all the prophets and messengers of Allah. There was never a prophet who was not a preacher and teacher. All of them preached the same message. Worship Allah, you have no other God but Him. They all called to their people saying, I do not seek any reward from you for this work. Allah Almighty says, Call thou all mankind unto thy sustainer's path with wisdom and goodly exhortation and argue with them in the most kindly manner. Quran 16 verse 125. He ordered his messenger, Say, O Prophet, this is my way, resting upon conscious insight accessible to reason. I am calling you all unto God, I and they who follow me. And say, Limitless is God in his glory, and am I not the one of those who ascribe divinity to aught beside him? Quran 12 verse 108. Having ordered his servants to employ useful knowledge and good deeds, Allah confirms, And who could be better to speech than he who calls his fellow men unto God and does what is just and right, and says, Verily, I am those who have surrendered themselves to God. Quran 41 verse 33. There are five premises to the Islamic call. It has five approaches and its results are also five. The five premises. First, sincerity and truthfulness with Allah and to seek his favor. Allah says, and withal, they were not enjoined aught, but they should worship God, sincere in their faith to him alone. Quran 98 verse 5. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, foretold that the first with whom the fire of hell will be lit are three, among them a scholar who acquired knowledge so that the people would say he is learned, and it was indeed said of him. Second, to practice what one preaches. Actually, it is a scandal and a disgrace that a person's actions should contradict his words. Allah derides such people in his Quran. Do you bid other people to be pious, the while you forget your own selves, and yet you recite the divine writ? Will you not then use your reason? Quran 2 verse 44. Third, gentleness in presenting the message. Allah advised Moses and Aaron to adopt this measure with Pharaoh, the greatest tyrant of his time, but speak unto him in a mild manner, so that he may bethink himself, or at least be filled with apprehension. Quran 20 verse 44. And to Muhammad, peace be upon him, he also cautioned, And it was by God's grace that thou, O prophet, didst deal gently with thy followers, for if thou hadst been harsh and hard of heart, they would have indeed broken away from thee. Quran 3 verse 159. Hence, it was on this basis the Prophet peace be upon him declared, Make matters easy and do not make them difficult. Give glad tidings and do not drive people away. Fourth, adopt a gradual approach to propagation. Do as Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did in his mission by beginning the most important matters then follow them up in order of priority. This was clearly demonstrated in the advice he gave to Mu'ad before he sent him to Yemen. You will come upon a people of the book, Jews and Christians. The first thing you should invite them is to bear witness that there is no God save Allah and that I am the messenger of Allah. If they respond positively to this, then inform them that Allah has ordained for them five prayers each day and night. Fifth, Address every people with what is suited for them and their needs. There is a special approach to the people of the cities and another approach to villages. Similarly, there is a special approach to the Bedouin. The intellectual has his position and the ignorant also has his position. So too, there is a style for the argumentative and an entirely different one for the submissive. And whoever is granted wisdom has indeed been granted wealth abundant. 
Quran 2 verse 269. The five means of propagation. First, the individual method, that is, to invite the person individually if the matter pertains to him specifically. Second, public or mass propagation, such as in lectures or exhortations that benefit the generality of people. Third, private lessons to students, each in his specialty. This is the task of the scholars who specialize in their disciplines. Fourth, propagation through writing, correspondence and authorship with guidance and benefit for those who are called. Fifth, propagation using modern means of communication to advance the cause of truth. The five results. First, to attain the position of inheritors of the prophets, for they were the first callers and beacons of light in the field of propagation. Second, to obtain prayers for your forgiveness from the creation for having taught the people goodness. Even the whale in the ocean will pray for the caller to truth. Third, to gain great rewards equivalent to that of those who are invited. The Prophet peace be upon him said, whoever calls to a good tradition will have the reward as the one who followed it without reducing from their reward. Fourth, the development of the caller from being one who is called to one who calls. He influences others and is not influenced by others who call to evil. Fifth, the caller will become a leader among his people and they will follow him. Allah Almighty describes the righteous and notes that they call upon him, saying, Cause us to be foremost among those who are conscious of thee. Quran 25 verse 74 Surely, the sentiments of the caller to Islam are awakened in Ramadan. Their tongues are put to use and their pens became unstinting. The podiums welcome them to hear their call and addresses. Are there not any other scholars who will be similarly generous with their knowledge so that Allah will cause benefit from it? O oh Allah, increase us in useful knowledge, righteous deeds and understanding of religion. That was the end of lesson 27. Please do join us for the next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Asalaamu As Alaikum.